job. This is uh, Eric Tolman, Chief Meteorologist. Uh, we just um, wanted to give you an update on the uh, weather situation. Give me just one second, please. Uh, camera person over there, anonymous camera person. Can you uh, pause the volume, please? There should, thank you. Okay, I'm sorry. We had a little bit of an interruption here. Okay, this is Chief Meteorologist Derek Tom with the National Weather Service Detroit Pontiac in the Storm Prediction Center. I'm going to tell you, we've been pretty busy with um, all the severe weather going on, and yes, we are going to be a part of that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and tell you what's going on here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to actually turn this around so you can see it, and we'll go ahead and turn this this way so we can show you what's going on and we'll give you the real big picture. There you go. Okay, so this is what we've got going on here. We've been focusing on this all day long today, and uh, you can actually see on here we've got very, very powerful thunderstorms that have actually been all over the Midwest. Some of the areas have actually gotten hit again. We've had uh, some... Uh, repeats of uh, tornado watches today and you can see a lot of these thunderstorms are very violent to severe you can actually see right there over by uh, before it hits Madison you can actually see that it's actually a bow echo um, I'm gonna go ahead and stop it right here and uh, show you that bow echo right now that's kind of serious when you uh, think of that right now so we have the showers and storms right here but if you look at this this is actually very very severe right here and that's the reason why once you get into Chicago and then you get towards into Michigan this is what we're going to have to deal with but there's some more thunderstorm activity that will be coming along with it so during the nighttime hours it's going to be a little bit crazy around here so uh, we're going to give you another uh, sneak peek of what's going on here before we go back to uh, Channel 7 Action News Detroit and we'll go over that in just one second Here's our picture now. Here's the big picture. We'll put it in mode for you again so we can show you what it, what it's doing and how long is it going to take before it gets to us. Well, pretty soon. Okay, so here's the system right now. There's that um, tornado watch that was over in Omaha. That's been, uh, that is going to be expiring. That's why you see those dots there. That means that they are no longer going to be seeing severe weather because all the severe weather has moved out of the area right there. I don't know if you can see it really good, but we'll just go ahead like that. So you can see that it's right there. And then all the way from the Des Moines area, all the way into Madison, all the way into Chicago, there's a tornado, no, severe thunderstorm watch, I'm sorry, a severe thunderstorm watch uh, that's in effect for you guys, and it's very close to uh, Michigan there, and uh, we might even be in the moderate risk, medium, highest risk for severe weather, so we'll continue to keep an eye on this. We don't really expect any of this severe weather to arrive in the metro area until after 11 o'clock, um, so you'll probably hear uh, some uh, thunderstorms, some lightning, and all that kind of stuff. This is just giving you the big view of what we expect, and now we will do that seven-day forecast uh, right now and tell you what else is going on, so we're going to like flip the page here for a minute so we can uh, show you the rest of that and then after that I think we're all set um, so it's been very very crazy I'm going to see if we can actually find our, our thing we put in the zip code uh, let's see Zero five. give me a second while we put this in here and it's loading you can see that okay this is actually the current conditions in our Meta in Michigan uh, the current conditions right now are actually partly cloudy skies with sun out there. It is still kind of hot out there. And it's 85 degrees right now. Um, humidity is actually at 62% right now. The wind speed is actually south of 13 miles an hour right now. Barometer is actually at 29.78 inches right now. Dew point temperature is actually 71, and that is very juicy, juicy air if you want to talk about that between the dew point and the index. We'll talk about that in a minute. Visibility is at 10 miles an hour and the heat index, you factor in the dew point, temperature, the humidity, you mix all of those into two, you've got yourself very, very hot stuff. 
but it's starting to cool down just a little bit and we'll talk about that seven day forecast in just a moment so let's go ahead and tell you what we are expecting for the remainder of the rest of tonight so uh, just be aware it's going to be around the whole metro area so hopefully you guys are all ready for this so we're just going to let you know there is a chance for tonight that we'll have a chance of seeing isolated thunderstorms this afternoon when we haven't really seen any thunderstorms as of right now um, so even uh, even if we had gotten a couple of thunderstorms this afternoon they would have been uh, severe but actually we're going to probably have more of that risk later on tonight and we'll talk about all of that so there will be a storm watch issue later on once the storms get closer to us it might be a severe thunderstorm watch so you want to stay tuned for that as well so that's actually the story with that. We'll do one more thing before we get out of here. So we can go back to regular broadcast. They're like, well, what the heck are you doing right now? So anyway, for tonight, um, severe thunderstorms and definitely a 70% chance severe thunderstorms are actually on the way. So look forward to that. It's going to be kind of nasty when it gets here. And there's still the possibility of very very large hail maybe a tornado in there we'll kind of keep an eye on that situation for you because we've gotten a lot of reports of that all over the midwest um so anyway 70 percent chance of uh severe thunderstorms that is on the way uh the low tonight is going to go down to 72 and then we will also have the rest of the severe weather with us into tuesday morning and then after that that's going to linger and that's going to get out of here so then Tuesday, 40% chance of thunderstorms left from what we're dealing with right now. So the high is going to be 88 degrees. Tuesday night, it's going to be partly cloudy. Skies with uh, the low going down to 64. That's rather comfortable. 30% chance of showers on Wednesday, 77 degrees. Wednesday night, 57 the low. Thursday is actually looking a lot better than all this hot, humid, juicy stuff. Now this is the kind of weather that I'm talking about. Can't beat the 70 degrees on Thursday with mostly cloudy skies. And then the low will go down to um, 54 degrees. And then for the 4th of July, 74 degrees and sunny. And the low will be 54 degrees on Friday. We'll go up and beyond. Let's see what we've got for the weekend. Saturday it's going to be sunny with the high of 78 degrees. The low on Saturday will be 58 degrees um, for your low on Saturday. And then on Sunday we go back up into the upper 70s, maybe 80 if we're lucky. Uh, partly sunny skies with a high of 79 on Sunday and then the low of 62 on Sunday. And then we go back into the juicy stuff once again with showers and storms returning back in the forecast and partly sunny skies. So. We're going to get a little bit of a break, but not much. So at least the weather is kind of uh, working with us, but not with Mother Nature. Not today, anyway. It's not going to be that that kind of a story. So we will indeed keep an eye on this system, and we will let you know later on in the broadcast what we do expect. So we will keep an eye on this. So these are all the thunderstorms that will be moving in the area. And then once it gets closer to us, then the watch will go into effect. It could be a tornado watch. Or I would probably guess it, it's going to probably be a severe thunderstorm watch. I don't know yet. We'll find out in just a little bit when we get more confirmation on that. But do expect the storms are not going to be around until after 11 o'clock. Because that um, severe thunderstorm watch in the Chicago, Illinois area, that is in effect until 10 o'clock tonight. Uh, our time and then after that the severe thunderstorms that will be uh, prompting warnings tonight is probably going to wake you up uh, we'll let you know about that so please stay with me and I will have another update coming up at 11 o'clock but if a uh, watch is issued at any time we will let you know but those strong storms are headed in our direction I'll have much more coming up in a little bit we'll see you back here at 7 o'clock thank you